what is going on youtube it's your boy nevin the barber and in today's video we're going to be covering the new cyborg trimmers that gamma just released this past week um just so you guys know they are now accepting pre-orders so if you do want to order them feel free to use my code nevin10 at the gamma website whenever you guys purchase them but so far so good i really like how they were able to carve in my first initial bald line i can tell that they're really sharp right out of the box so now that i have my first initial guideline set i'm going to go ahead and follow that trimmer guideline using my gamma instinct clippers with no guard lever all the way open so we're, i'm now creating my second guideline about an inch right above my previous section that i created with the trimmers and I'm going up about an inch just because I want to go up about halfway where my client's C cups were at. He did want a mid drop fade today. So I'm making sure that I drop that fade beneath his occipital bone in the back while not taking it too high on the sides. And I'm going to create another guideline using my one and a half guard all the way closed, going up about another inch right above my previous section. And I'm going to blend straight up into the parietal ridge, doing some clipper over comb using the same guard. And now to blend out that middle guideline, I'm using the blur guard all the way open. And I really like this guard right here because it's almost like the half guard. But when you know how to properly angle your clipper, it can cut all the way up to the one and a half guard length. So when you have the clipper all the way closed, it's actually cutting down to a 0.5 length also known as the half but like i said when you guys have the lever all the way open it can potentially cut up to the one and a half guard length and that's why i really like this guard right here because it basically just brings your fade to life and really creates a nice clean transition between the stubble and the bulk of the hair And before I erase my last guideline, I'm going to go ahead and line up the C cups as well as the vertical bars. And I like to do this before blending out my last guideline, just because it'll make it a lot easier for me to get a nice blurry transition from the skin into the stubble of the hair. And I don't want to fade out the C cup area. So that's why I like to do this before I fade out my last guideline. So now that I have that complete, I'm taking my Gamma Instinct Clippers with no guard lever all the way closed. And I'm gonna just begin tapping that first initial guideline that we had created with our trimmers. And we're just blending up into the fade now. This is the only time where I start opening up the lever and my fading technique. For all my other steps, I always start with the lever open. But in this case, since we're blending that last guideline out, we're working lever closed all the way to open. And little by little, you guys can see that that guideline is starting to fade away and blend into the hair without creating no other guidelines. So now that I have my fade complete, I'm going to go ahead and remove all the bulk with my Gamma Cyborg trimmers. And I can honestly say that considering this is the first time I used them right out the box, they are definitely hitters. You guys can see that they were able to effortlessly remove all of that bulk as well as create a nice clean crispy C cup and goatee for my client. And if you guys do wanna save some money on them, like I said, feel free to use my code Nevin10 at the Gamma website and you guys will get a discount off your entire order. But these are, like I said, right out the box, not even zero gapped. And I'm gonna just follow up that line using my bronze series nine shaver. And this is basically just ensuring that all of that stubble is cut down to the skin. That way this haircut can last as long as possible. And all of these details really do make a big difference. Never be afraid to go back and double check your work as well as put in all the detail work that you guys can. Not only will your client appreciate it, but it will increase your chances of retainment and getting that client back in your chair. And with those few simple steps, you guys can see I was able to achieve a nice clean blurry blend. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the lineup. So before I line up the front of my client's um, forehead, I like to do some trimmer over comb. That way I don't have no overhanging hairs when I line up the front, as you guys can see. I was able to get a nice, clean, crispy line. And I really like to do this because um, the lineup will look a lot cleaner after your client showers, just because all those overhanging hairs will be cut. And we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the same exact steps on the left side of my client's head. Starting first using my Gamma Cyborg trimmers to create that first bald line. And it's very important that you guys always analyze your client's scalp whenever putting this first guideline in. Just because, um, like I said, if they do wanna drop fade, you wanna ensure that it's gonna be beneath that occipital bone on the back of their head. Because when you do fade up into the hair, you are gonna notice the skull and the shape of your client's head a lot more. You won't really notice it when they have a full head of hair, but after you do a fade, you'll definitely notice it. So always, you know, keep that in mind whenever you guys are putting that first initial guideline in. And now that I have that set, I'm gonna go ahead and follow that guideline using no guard, lever all the way open. And I really like this fading method right here because you won't find yourself struggling um, to erase your, your last guideline and you won't you know, push your fade up if you do all the steps properly. So we're gonna follow this guideline using the one and a half guard all the way closed. And I always like to get right into clipper over comb, blending that guideline up into the parietal ridge and the crown area of my client's scalp. And I'm just rolling that comb off at a 90 degree angle. That way I don't dig into the crown. And now that I've blended the one and a half into the bulk, I can remove my middle guideline. Again, using my blur guard, starting with the lever all the way open. And everyone's hair texture is gonna be a little bit different as well as the growth pattern on your client's hair. In this case, my client did have his hair, uh, you know, growing in a few different growth patterns. So it's just important that you angle the clipper in the direction that the hair is growing out of the scalp. That way you can cut it against the grain and really get it cut down to the length that you want it cut. And just as I did on the right side, I'm gonna go ahead and create the vertical bars as well as the C cups before I remove that last guideline. And let me know what you guys think of this step right here. Um, I feel like it really helps you not only with the lineup, but bring a lot more contrast into your fade. And if you guys have learned anything in this tutorial so far, please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment letting me know what you want to see next. I do appreciate all the feedback that you guys leave. So thank you to all my subscribers who tune in and support my channel. I do appreciate it. And now to remove this last guideline, I'm using no guard, lever all the way closed. So the clipper's cutting the hair down to a double zero length. And I do have these clippers right here, zero gapped, which basically just means that the blades um, cut down to the sharpest length possible, which is why I was able to effortlessly erase that last guideline. And if you guys would like to save some money on these instant clippers as well, feel free to use my code Nevin10 again at the Gamma website. And I'm just corner cutting removing any last dark areas that I see in the fade. And like I said, this is a really easy method right here. As long as you guys do these steps properly, you will be able to achieve a nice clean blend. Now that I have the fade complete, I'm gonna come back and do some trimmer over comb, just cutting off any hairs that don't need to be there. And this is a really powerful step before you guys line up the front, just because it'll make it look that much more crispier and sharper. And all of these little details right here really do matter and make a big difference. So never be afraid to really take your time and you know try to give your client the best cut that you can. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and start removing the bulk as well as cleaning up my client's goatee. 
it was pretty overgrown as you guys saw but these cyborg trimmers right here were able to remove all the bulk with no problem causing no irritation you guys saw it for yourself so i'll definitely give these a 10 i really like how they're set up as well as you know the way that they cut and look so shout out to gamma for always taking care of me definitely like these clippers right here and i'm just gonna go ahead and follow the stubble up with the bronze series 9 shaver ensuring that i can get this cut all the way down to the skin before my client gets out of my chair And just coming in one more time with the Gamma Instinct Clippers, just to really get that fade blurry as I possibly can. And going over my client's lineup one more time. I can honestly say that the Cyborg trimmers cut like lasers. They are really sharp and you know, sometimes you gotta be careful when you over gap your clippers. In this case, I didn't even have to zero gap them and they were really sharp. So I'm probably just gonna leave them, you know, the way that they came to be honest because all of my other trimmers are zero gapped. And just going over that line that I created with my trimmers with the razor blade, going up against the grain of the hair. Whenever you guys use the razor, you always wanna be sure that you stretch the skin and bring up that razor blade up against the grain of the hair just to achieve that much more sharper look. And now that I have the fade and the lineup complete, I'm gonna go ahead and trim up the top. And this is a shear technique right here called slicing. And basically I'm just running the shears at a 45 degree angle coming down my client's scalp just very lightly cutting you know the flyaways and this really isn't taking off much length it's just creating more volume and texture in my client's hair that way he has um, a little bit more mobility when he styles it and i'm just using some of my ntb finishing spray right here just to lock everything in place And to finish up this haircut, I'm gonna go ahead and do some shear over comb. And as always, I always like doing shear over comb regardless of what haircut I'm doing, just because it really gives it a different type of transition into the hair. And it's very important that you guys roll that comb off of the parietal ridge whenever doing this, that way you don't cut into the apex or the crown. And same thing on the right side. As you guys can see, it's just leaving a much more softer finish blending up into the temple area. But that is about it for today's haircut tutorial. Again, if you guys learned anything, please be sure to smash that like button, drop a comment letting me know what you wanna see next and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. But thank you again if you guys made it to the end of the video. It's been your boy Nevin the Barber, and I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one.